Now we're going to discuss how we can grade and review assignments that our students have turned into us. I wanted to show you a quick feature um, on Edmodo. If you look on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see that it shows me how many assignments have been turned in, how many posts I have scheduled, and any new group members. If you have more than one class, undoubtedly you're going to have various different um, posts and comments and messages that are posted to your group pages. Um, as you can see from my view, I can see everything that is posted on here, including communities that I'm a member of. There is a filter option that will allow me to just uh, view specific posts. So in this case, I want to change my filter option to just assignments. So I want to see assignments only. And I can actually choose if I want them by the date that they were posted or by when they are due. So I'm looking at the assignments that I've created for my groups. And I can see that someone has turned in an assignment for the EduCreation screencast. When I'm ready to review and grade it, what I will do is I will click on the Turned In button. And it's going to show me a list of all of the students in that particular class and who has turned in the assignment. Um, I can see that one assignment has been turned in and one student has not turned in the assignment yet. I can also look at the um, assignment that has been sub, uh, the, the assignment uh, history and the activity history on here, and I can see the rubric that students have um, access to. Here I can set a default total score. So every student will be, ba will be graded on a, on a default total score of 100. And once I'm ready to start grading, I can click on the students that have turned it in and see what they have submitted. So this student has left me a note saying, here's a screencast that I created earlier. And they provided a link to their assignment. Um, in this case, if it was a link, I would click on the link and it will take me to the next page. Or if it was a document, I would actually preview it. And I'll show you how to preview documents in the next couple of slides. So here I'm going to go and click on the link that they provided. And it's taken me to the student's um, screencast. Um, we won't actually re review it because this is just an example. But I've gone through the entire link once I've read or once I've watched the video. I can go back to Edmodo and I can um, let the student know what I thought of their submission. Um, it ranges from anywhere from outstanding, um, rock star, admirable, you can do it, good guess, better luck next time, spelling mistakes, incomplete, or needs improvement. I can also leave a comment to the student. Um, And um, I can set their uh, grade and mark it as graded. Then I can add comment and then I can see now that I have a grade for this particular student and this assignment is complete. Now I want to show you how you would grade assignments that were submitted in PDF format such as research papers, compositions, essays, or any other kind of writing assignment that could be turned in um, from a word processing document. So I'm still filtering all of my assignments. I'm going to scroll down because I've actually, as you can see, I use this quite a bit in my class. Um, we had a Civil War research project that was due on April 18th for one of my classes. And again, as you can see, you see all of my students that I have in my class, and I only have a few students who have turned in the assignment. Um, I have one that's been graded already, and um, several that do not have assignments that have been turned in. The default has been set for 100, and this gives me an average score of what students are earning and a status of who is complete. Um, I can also see any comments that have been made on the assignment. In this case, I had students um, make a comment with who they were going to research, and several students chose Abraham Lincoln. And I can also see um, any other comments that have been included by students. Some have included um, copies to sites or copies to videos that they, have, that they have created to share with the rest of the class. So I'm going to start grading an assignment. And I've asked the students to include their uh, work um, in PDF format, which makes it easier for me to grade. 
Um, this particular student did not include any responses, so there's nothing for me to read from them. Um, but once I'm ready to start reading the research paper, I will click on the annotate icon, which will pull up their assignment in a new screen. Now, as you can see, I have the option of providing a comment up here, and I have different comment tools. So as I'm reading through the assignment, if there's any correct corrections that need to be made, or if there's any comments that I want to make, I can make them here. So in this first paragraph, I've noticed that there is an error in, in grammar usage that I want to point out to the student. So what I will do is um, I'll use a strikeout feature. And then I can come back here and say what the correct syntax should be. So I can continue scrolling down. And again, um, I can make changes or corrections. Um, and because I've at inserted text before, or because I made a strikeout, it's going to automatically prompt me for that text that should be in, inserted in there. And um, sometimes I just want to maybe point out something um, so I can just let her know she should capitalize. because the S and Sarah should be capitalized. Um, and then that should be influenza. And so as you can see, I can make comments to my students' um, work. Um, I can highlight, I can draw, um, I can insert text, or I can just insert comments in the screen. Once I'm finished um, reviewing the paper, then I will um, close the preview, and then I can mark the assignment as graded. Um, I ask students to include a bibliography, so I want to review that as well. And then I might want to leave a little note for them. I'll leave this as a comment. And so I can refer the student back to our assignment where I've included a link to bibliography. And so now the student will know when they go back and review it that they have to resubmit their bibliography page. I can submit the assignment, or I can submit the grade for the student and let them know that um, this is incomplete. Um, I'll grade the assignment and then let them know that it's incomplete and then leave them a note. Um, <clears throat> and then make my comment. And so now when the student logs in, they will show that their assignment has been graded and they will be able to see any of the comments that I've made. Um, so that is how we grade and review assignments within Edmodo. Again, Edmodo has these features that will make grading a lot more easier for you since you won't have to be shuffling papers around, you won't have to download files. You're actually able to grade everything within the actual program within your computer screen. Um, so long as you're comfortable using the computer manipulating, um, this will be an easy process for you. In the next few slides, we'll talk about other features for assessing that we have, including creating quizzes and creating polls.